yo 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 what is good everybody welcome back to the channel first and foremost thank you guys so much for 760 plus subscribers i do appreciate that uh it means the world to me that we are continuing to grow this channel uh, in a positive way hopefully inspiring others and ultimately just giving you guys some entertainment of what i do as my full-time uh business so pretty much i am a full-time reseller my name is brandon also known as the georgia picker quote unquote the channel name uh and pretty much i go out there to anything and everything bin stores i do storage units uh garage sales estate sales uh thrifting whatever the case is anywhere where i can find items to flip for a profit online no matter if that's ebay poshmark facebook marketplace uh Amazon, you guys name it. I'm trying to do it all because ultimately I want to grow this business uh, as much as possible, but also at the same time get back to you guys because I wouldn't be in the situation of doing these YouTube videos um, without you guys. So I'm going to show you guys my knowledge and what I have learned over the past, I guess I've been doing this for almost two years now, and I have learned a ton. So uh, once again, my name is Georgia Picker, also known as Brandon or vice versa. And uh, what I'm going to be doing, instead of doing our normal what sold videos uh, during the week, I'm going to switch it up. Uh, I might do that every now and then, but uh, for every month, I'm going to go through all my monthly sales. Um, and I'm going to go through each kind of special item that I picked up, no matter if it was through a storage unit, a bin store, garage sale, whatever the case is, and share them with you guys on what exactly, uh, exactly to look out for out there in the wild. Okay, so let's go and get into this very first item. So this right here is a Barbie Basics, uh, basically a Barbie, right? <laughs> so uh, the model number is right here in the title. It is T7749. So the way you want to look up certain items. So Barbies, they have this special uh, symbol right here. I don't know if you guys can see that. We'll, we'll uh, maximize it here. But it says it right here, usually on the bottom where the UPC code is. Uh, T7749, that is the quote-unquote model number you want to look for whenever you guys are looking for Barbies. Uh, this is from 2010, so it's not vintage by no means. But this Barbie right here sold for $129.99 plus shipping, so keep that in mind. So this was also a rare doll, but this is a Barbie basic. So if you guys see this out there, so any type of toys that you guys might see, uh, any type of Barbies, because there's some Barbies that have no real crazy resale value, but the biggest thing is look it up look it up look it up if you are not a hundred percent sure about something or if you're not really wanting to take a risk always look it up because research is key in any of this type of reselling business so no matter if you guys are buying liquidation pallets or no matter if you guys are just doing abandoned storage units whatever the case is research is key so this was the very first uh, item that i wanted to show you guys mainly because uh toys can go for some great money Okay, so now I know this is another Barbie type doll. The reasoning why I wanted to show you guys this one, one, because it did sell for $124.99. Let's just say $125 plus shipping. But the thing is, I've never heard of MGA Moxie Teens. So this right here is a, a extremely rare toy um, or doll or whatever you guys want to call it. Uh, and this one, I don't think had a model number. Yeah, so this is from, I want to say it's from 2010 as well. But I'm not 100% sure. So there's no year on this particular one. Um... But this Moxie Teens doll, if you guys ever see them, make sure you guys pick them up because they can go for some crazy amounts of money. This particular doll was nowhere on eBay. Um, I put a random price up there for $125 and it sold. So I think it sat for about two weeks or so. So I probably could have got a little more. Um, but at the same time, whenever you guys are basing it off of similar comps of different dolls, it's kind of really hard to say what this particular one will go for. But the fact there was no listings on it, uh, I mean, I found it on Google, but... Um, you couldn't really find anything on this doll. So I put up a price and at the end of the day it sold and I found this in a storage unit by the way. So Moxie Teens is probably going to be kind of hard to come by but if you guys do see that name, make sure you guys pick it up. Alright guys, so for this next item, this is called War and Peace by Leo Tolstoy. Tolstoy? Tolstoy? I don't know. I'm sorry. I'm butchering his name extremely bad. Uh, but the thing about this book is I'm not a big book junkie. I don't like picking up books. Um, but this one really caught my eye and I actually looked it up. I believe, I can't remember if I found this in a storage unit or a garage sale. I want to say I found it at a garage sale and I got it, I got it for a dollar. Um, but keep in mind, there is money in books. I know a lot of people don't like books because they're so heavy and so on and so forth. But there's money in everything. Think about DVDs, right? A lot of people just don't like looking through DVDs. And there's some people who will literally scan through every single one of them. The people who are scanning through every single one of them are the ones who are making uh, big money off of you know those said uh, categories. So with this particular book, like I said, don't remember where I got it from. But it's still sold for $20 plus shipping. Now, imagine if I would have just donated. I just donated a $20 bill. So just keep in mind in the back of you guys' head when you guys are sourcing out there in the wild that books can go for some great money. 
All right, guys, so for the next two items, I'm going to show you guys. So I got all these actually at a yard sale, believe it or not. It's not from a storage unit, not from a bin store, not from a thrift store, nothing like that. So this first one is going to be an Odyssey White Hot number one uh, 34 inch putter. So Odyssey stuff goes for some great money. Uh, Odyssey and Ping go for great money. Um, at least that's what I have learned by watching other YouTubers. Um, I watch Cincinnati Picker pick uh, uh, all this stuff all the time, um, amongst other uh, eBayers as well who do YouTube. Um, the this is actually my very first Odyssey find ever out there in the wild, and it sold just last month, and it probably sat for maybe two weeks or so. Um, and it sold for sixty-eight dollars, best offer accepted. I think I had it up there for seventy-five. Somebody sent me an offer of sixty-eight, so I accepted it. Um, accepted it. And I found this at an estate sale that I did not get on camera because it was on a Friday and I didn't have my GoPro with me. Me and my wife were actually at the grocery store and we saw a garage sale. We are like, you know, let's just go ahead and check it out real quick. We're probably not going to find anything, but let's just check. And sure enough, I found a whole bag of golf clubs and the next set of golf clubs is what I'm going to explain to you guys. Um, so this one sold for $68 and I got all the golf clubs for $20. So we got this sale for $68. We actually sold the Ping Driver for $95. So that's over $150 right there uh, in sales. So that is what this is. So make sure you guys look out for the Odyssey. This is actually uh, what it looks like. The brand has this spiral. So as soon as you guys see that, instantly think Odyssey because that should be what it is. All right, so this next one is going to be some uh, tailor-made RAC CGB iron set. Uh, the thing about these, let me uh, maximize it here for one sec. Uh, so this is exactly what they look like. Um, the inner parts of them, they have like these round like circles, of usually five of them. And uh, these things can go for some crazy amounts of money. These right here were actually in impeccable shape. So whenever I say pick up golf clubs, pick them up because this is actually my first set I've ever picked up as well. Uh, and these things, um, the prices, uh, there the sales were going all over the place when you guys go over to sold comps. These right here were going all the way from like 150 to like 250. So I was like, you know what? I'm already $150 in the green, or $130 in the green, or whatever, uh, whatever the difference is. Uh, so I decided to put these up for auction, and they sold for $215.51. And there's a total of 40 bids uh, on this, as you guys can see there. So that right there is the reasoning why I love expanding my knowledge about everything that I do because if you guys don't, I, I might have just walked past this and was like, hey, I don't know anything about golf clubs, but guess what? $215 plus a $95 for the, uh, for the driver, then another 68 for the, the Odyssey putter. So you guys do the math, that's over $300, $350 worth of items for $20. So be on the lookout for these type of items. Okay, so this is uh, very interesting. So uh, I got these at the uh, bin store. So they're called Joe Like Music Players. Um, and this is what they look like. Oh, it is like a little MP3 player. I know my uh, face is in the way. I'm sorry. Um, but <laughs> let's see if we can uh, bring this up a little bit. Uh, there you go right there. So that's what it looks like. And uh, there's they're just these little uh, miniature MP3 players. And I actually got this at the bin store. And I got these for $6 a piece, and I believe I bought like six of them, and they have all sold within like a day. Um, and they will sell for $30 plus shipping. I'm not really sure how rare or realistically where you would get these from. I never actually found this at a garage sale, but I did find them in a bin store. So if you guys ever go to a bin store in South Carolina, uh, here in Georgia locally, uh, if you guys find Joe Like, um, this is actually what the brand is right there. That's what it looks like. I don't know if you guys could see that. There you guys go. I might have to lower my webcam just a little bit here in a sec, but that's what it looks like. So if you guys see that symbol, make sure you guys pick it up, especially for if you guys get it for a low price. But uh, yeah, $30 plus shipping. All right, guys, so I lowered my webcam just a little bit for you guys so where you guys can see it just a little bit better. Keep in mind, this is my first time doing this, and I will get better at it uh, as time goes. Uh, so I'm going to talk about this real quick, very short and simple. So this is called a Mela 100% virgin hair. So there was four uh, bundles in there. There's a 14-inch, I'm sorry, five. No, four. 14 inch, 16 inch, 18 inch, and 20 inch. So basically it's human hair. Uh, and this is what it looks like right here. Um, so they are basically just fake hair, you know, like extensions or something like that. I don't really know anything about hair. Um, but I do know hair goes for some crazy money. And we found this at the bin store for $6. So what did it sell for? It sold for $69.99. So $70 plus shipping. And uh, there's a lot of money in human hair. So just be on the lookout for that type of stuff. All right, guys, so for my next item that I sold, which was very surprising, it sold for $42.99. This is Candyland of all games, but the greatest thing about it is from 2001. And I can't remember exactly what made this one rare. I want, maybe it's the printing of the actual uh, game itself, 
but it sold for forty three dollars. Uh, we found this at a storage unit, uh, the one that uh, we had all the Southern Living at Home items, and this right here sold for forty three dollars free shipping. And yes, it was used, but it was a hundred percent complete, and that was an insane sell. Candlelight, you can go to the store right now and get it for like twenty bucks. <laughs> but the fact that this thing was vintage, two thousand one, uh, yeah, it's just it, it's insane. So make sure you guys uh, pick this up if you guys can see this actual. Uh, you know printing of the game so yeah i thought it was crazy i just wanted to share that with you guys all right so for the next one obviously video games everybody already knows if you guys are seasoned veterans of doing online reselling or if you guys are new everybody knows that video games sell all day long but the reason why i bring this particular one is because i knew nothing about this game i went to a garage sale uh, i paid a dollar for it and the only thing that made me pick or two things that made me pick it up one because the, the cover art's really cool I, I love the way it looks you got a police officer looks like he has a gun to some zombies then you got a guy about to get eaten by a zombie smoking a cigarette i don't know i thought it was really cool and then two if you guys look up here at the top left it says built with the halo engine if you guys know halo one for the original xbox was an uh, iconic game at its at its era of what it was and that's one of the reasons why it made me pick it up. And guess what? It sold for $80. So any kind of uh, video games that catches your eye with like just the cover art, make sure you guys look it up because I didn't even look it up. I bought it for a dollar on a whim because it's, it's a dollar. You know what I'm saying? Worst case scenario, it sells for five or, you know, whatever. And I make a little bit of money or I lose a dollar. So be, don't be afraid to pick up items that, that look a little different. All right, you guys, so check this item out. I'm actually very excited to talk about this because I am an avid hot chocolate uh, guru. I love hot chocolate, man, little marshmallows, and I love it. Uh, but this is a Mr. Coffee Coco Motion. Remember that name, Coco Motion. This is exactly what it looks like. A very cool, white, clear in the middle where you can see the hot chocolate brew and all that good stuff. Uh, and, and this one right here in particular was actually brand new. I got this for $3 at a garage sale. Uh, matter of fact, this is actually the same yard sale where I found all the golf clubs, the Ping uh, driver, the Odyssey putter, and all those, uh, and that one set of uh, tailor-made golf clubs. So with this particular one, brand new, bought it for three. I had it up there for like 65, and I took a best offer of 57 because I'm already quadruple plus my money. Uh, and I wanted to move uh, wanted to move the item. So there's some items that I will sit on, but this one I didn't really want to sit on. Um, but this right here is actually kind of a bolo item. Even the loose ones without the box or used ones can still sell for like $35 to $40. So um, make sure you guys be on the lookout for Coco Motions. Write it down. Take a mental picture of it with your head right now. And uh, make sure you guys pick them up in the wild. All right, guys. So this item right here is a vintage brass skeleton wind chime. So I actually found this in a storage unit. Um, the thing is, though, this was not found on Google. It wasn't found on eBay. Nothing. I could not find anything about it. But the thing is, I what I do know is that brass items sell all freaking day. So I'm talking about little things of brass. I'm talking about long things of brass. Brass stuff just sells. There's there's brass collectors. In this particular case, there's a it's brass and it's a wind chime. So you have wind chime collectors, brass collectors, and also a vintage collector. So that right there hits three different types of markets. Um, so just keep that in mind too whenever you guys are picking up certain items. This actually sold within like 20 minutes. Um, I had it up there, I, like I said, I didn't have anything to go off of. I couldn't find anything brass wind chimes uh, that kind of matched this particular thing. Oh, and also too, it could also represent Halloween too. So I mean, there's so many markets for this particular item. It's probably why it sold kind of quick. But this one right here, I had it up there for $50. Somebody sent me an offer of 33, so I instantly accepted it because I didn't know anything about it, and if somebody else can make money on it, I'm happy as well. But yeah, $33 is what I sold this for. So be on the lookout for brass items. All right, guys, so this very next item is actually a new uh, brand name for me. Uh, so I don't really know how to pronounce it, but it's Propet or Propay. I'm not 100% sure, but these are like walking hiking shoes. Um, from my knowledge, I believe these are for people who um, have issues with their feet, like older, older individuals. Um, I actually got this at a thrift store for, I believe, $5.49, or it might have been $5.99. Uh, but whenever I instantly looked it up, uh, or looked at it in the store, I noticed, I was like, wow, this is actually kind of cool, you know, and uh, sure enough, I thought it was unique. So I looked it up, and sure enough, they had a really good uh, resale value. Um, this probably sat for about two months before it sold, uh, but at the end of the day, it sold for $50 free shipping. So we are definitely made, uh, you know, tripled our money on that deal. But uh, I never seen any YouTuber really talk about this brand. I don't think I've met, I don't think I've ever seen a video of somebody actually talking about this brand. So this is, could be a potentially a bolo item, um, and uh, yeah, it sold in, in two months. So like I said, I think that's a great turnaround. So that's gonna be the end of this video, you guys. Uh, 
If you guys do enjoy this type of video compared to my other what's whatsoever videos, let me know. But, or if you guys like the other way, let me know as well. That way I can switch it up or maybe just keep it as this particular style. Show you guys kind of what I have learned and, uh, and you know, basically new stuff that you guys can find out, uh, find out there in the wild to where other YouTubers aren't really talking about it. Um, that's one thing too, like I said, propay, the, the brass stuff, the uh, new old stuff, Mary Kay, some people do talk about that. But I'm trying to get more items that a lot of people don't talk about because you guys might walk past it and just not do anything with it. So with that being said, if you guys do enjoy these videos, subscribe, like, comment, all that good stuff. And if you guys want the video to be the other style, let me know as well. Much love. Thank you guys so much for watching and uh, hopefully I can make these more entertaining. <laughs> so it's your boy, the Georgia Picker, the Young Jedi. We'll catch you guys next time. Peace.